before. Let's see what I can get. I'm going to get some kale and spinach so I can make some juices. I made a declaration yesterday. I'll talk more about this declaration right now. Some of my favorite because you can just utilize it to make some yummy stuff. I'm gonna pick up some water. So this looks really interesting. Sparkling water. One, I'm a sucker for packages. Oh my gosh, my hands are mad ashy. No sweeteners, no sodium. I'm gonna taste it. Just taste it. This ramen is my favorite. Ramyun is my favorite. I have the habit of talking to myself just in general. So to me, talking to the camera is like whatever because I talk like to myself. So, for example, right now I was talking to myself with no camera and I'm like, oh, that's what I need. People are gonna think I'm mad crazy. Um, but I need to go get a cebolla. Ugh. Do I get a cebolla? Yes. Yeah. Una cebolla morada. Because I'm going to show you guys how to make some. Well, I don't know, but this is what taste makes tacos taste so bomb. Cause I'm a nice sister and sister and I love me sissy. Get her her for her chip. I'm so nice. I'm nice and stupid. Are you gonna be happy? Ooh, are you gonna be happy? Ooh, mm -mm. Turn this all around.
told you guys I was gonna show you guys my recipe. That really is not much of a recipe. I'm not sure all you guys know this. Um, okay, so I'm gonna show you guys a recipe that I like, and this I'm not sure. Si eres mexicano, if you're Mexican, you know this recipe, okay? But for those who don't, this is something that's just so good. It takes tacos to the next level. It takes your salads to the next level. You could use it on anything. Well, not on anything, but salads is really good. Um, eating it with chicken, just like putting it on top of your tacos, putting it on top of like whatever. I don't know. You can put it on whatever, really. You can eat it by itself. I love to eat it by itself. So the ingredients that you need is una cebolla roja. It could be a red onion or it could be whatever kind of onion, but I prefer this one. For some reason, like the taste is better. And usually it's stronger, but because we're gonna add a lemon and this lemon is about to go bad, so let's use it up real quick. Some pimienta, some pepper, some salt, and some red pepper flakes. You could also add like chile jalapeño, totally up to you, or any kind of other uh, chile you want, but that's the, the ingredients that we need and a container to put your cebolla in. So let's go ahead and do it. Depending on how you like it, if you want to add more salt to it, whatever, go ahead. Um, let me, let's go ahead and taste that. Mmm. I think that's perfect. You still get the lemony. You still get the lemon flavor. And you still get the salt, but it's not like overpowering. It looked like I put a lot of salt, but remember, I put like a shit ton, a crap ton of lemon. So what's going on? So I kind of wanted to give you my decoration. Which, by the way, this is that new water, that sparkling water. Oh, it smells good. That I bought at Winko. Expensive ass Winko. Um, but what I wanted to say within my declaration was about. Oh, first, okay. And this is how I put, too, this is how I'm eating my vegetables, my spinach, with a little bit of the onion on top of it. It's not a little, it's going to be quite a bit on top of it, just to kind of not make it so bland. Um, and here I have some sushi. Yes, I'm so excited. So just to kind of talk to you guys about my declaration. I don't know what else to call it, but my declaration is basically I've been get, getting a little carried away when it comes to eating and not exercising. I haven't really been exercising. I've been mm, I've been slacking quite a bit. The last time that I exercised was when I was in San Diego. which was like two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago. Um, and well, 
I gotta get it together because I can't be doing that. I gained between four to five pounds, okay? And that's not, that's not okay. I've been going back to my old eating habits, like just eating whatever I crave. And you know what? My metabolism and I don't have that kind of body. You know how people can eat whatever? And they can remain thin and they can remain whatever. I feel like she's fine too much with this. I don't have that kind of that body. You know, I don't have Mom, I'm recording. I don't have that kind of body. So I need to be careful. Um body i have to make sure i'm i'm always exercising and watching what i'm eating mommy hey where's mom going oh mommy where are you going oh okay Putting the, putting the ginger on top of the sushi, it makes it so good. And the wasabi, shoosh, shoosh. Um, so yeah, that's my decoration. I watched a video that my friend Brittany's mom sent her, and it was about Kevin Hart, I'm talking about goals and how you should, people always say, oh, these are my goals, blah, blah, blah. But you need to end it you need to end it with a period to make those goals happen i'm gonna lose weight period i'm gonna lose weight i'm gonna lose 20 pounds by may period like it has to have an ending to make it happen you know what i'm saying because you're basically saying this is what's gonna happen period and i was like so that resonated with me i'm like you know what so on instagram i made this whole spiel about how i need to get it together and guess what, y'all? I ate two cookies today at work. <sighs> and I deserve to eat this with onions. I'm just eating it all. Spinach. Mm. Um, you know what you do? You know? But it resonated with me. I think that's really important. And I was like, you know what? it's gonna happen i need to i want to lose 20 pounds by may i think that's very possible um 15 20 pounds but because i have another 45 pounds to lose once i reach and that's that's a good thing i've been very realistic with my weight loss if i'm not trying I, I was never like i'm gonna lose 50 pounds by this day i was like i'm gonna lose 10 pounds my first goal was i think when i first started losing weight at 230 was I'm gonna lose, I think it was like 20 pounds. And then once I reach the 20 pounds, I wanna be 199. Once I reach 199, I continue. My weight loss has been a very slow process. Like honestly, when I think back, I'm like, I could've lost a lot more weight. But I've, I've lived life in the sense that like, I'd go out to eat and enjoy a meal. I would go, if I go to my grandparents' house, I eat whatever my grandma cooks obviously in a way of being more responsible and not just like rubbing and shoving everything in my face but being like all right portion controls you know and that's what's been happening that's what's been going on and um i think that's why my weight loss has been very steady but two i've been going back into bad habits and that's not okay so now like my decoration mm-hmm Mm. Mm. That's really good. Mm. 
I'm telling you, I need to try that onion stuff. The onion, con chile, mm. this, so bomb. Mm. You can definitely taste like the like the lime watermelon flavor. But it doesn't taste artificial. Like it tastes like if you mix watermelon juice with lime juice, just take away the sweetness. That makes sense. <clears throat> when I'm telling you this is so good. So bomb. Look at how resourceful. I used the lid to put my to make it look all cute. <laughs> but yeah, so that's my goal, guys. I really would like to lose um, twenty pounds by May. I miss my SD fam. I miss my Claudia. I miss Nana. I miss her mom. Timmy! Tim, Tim, Tim! What do you think? What do you think? Keep the inside. Do you think I could do it? Mmm. And I don't shout out to Brittany too. It's always really good to have a friend that completely understands you where you're coming from. To have that support system, you know what I'm saying? And to have someone know what the struggle. So that's cool that's dope so shout out to you Brittany because you have been definitely a more a motivator and inspiration and I definitely value our friendship that weight loss has really brought us together and I, I really appreciate it so girl love you um last bite mm. Also, I got a skateboard recently, I think two weeks, a week ago. I'm gonna go skateboard for a little bit. <clears throat> I know I don't know how to skateboard at all. But yesterday was fun. So I think I'm a skateboard. Maybe. I don't know. So I am like, I, I'm like in a snacky mood. Like I want to snack on something. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to some grape nuts, whatever is left over. Uh, then I'm going to. Oh, are you gonna be happy? Yogurt. Mm. Oh, oh, and you're gonna be happy. And some cinnamon. Mm. Some honey. 
Ani. Ay. Some honey. That's not. Because I'm telling you, I'm craving something last sweet. Oh, geez. this needs to go in the refrigerator because I'm taking this short term. Ooh, ooh, hey. Hey. I can read here. <sighs> I know him too well. And then these chocolates. These chocolates. Let me show you what I'm going to do. Okay? right now where I want donuts. I want bolsa donuts. If you're from AZ, bolsa donuts isn't your fancy schmancy donuts. It's just your regular glazed, old fashioned, um, maple bar, sprinkle donuts. Mm. This definitely sure ain't no damn bolsa donuts. Sure ain't no freaking maple bar. But a declaration, y'all need to stick to that declaration. Wait, can you put that again? I'm gonna take a skateboard for a spin. Okay, do you know how to skateboard, Greg? Of course. Can you teach me? No. Teach me how to duggy. Teach me, teach me how to duggy. Um, what was that all about? To teach me. Ah! What are you going to take out for a um, spin? What does that got to do with uh, <laughs> skateboarding? Um, I'll, you lost me. Okay. I'm out. Peace. Mommy. Mommy. You know what Greg said? It was like, I'm going to take that skateboard out for a spin. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, is he having a midlife crisis? If you have not listened to the BTS Map of the Soul 7, I suggest you do. It's really good. My mom even likes it. She does. But she's going to bed. So I won't show her you her because she's going to get mad. So, my declaration. I... <laughs> <laughs> No, that's a mosquito, bro. It's a dragonfly. That is not a dragonfly. That's a big ass mosquito. It's a crane fly. They're all over the place. Have you seen them for Grand Ah! Ah! It touched me. Ah! Where the hell did it go? Uh, they, they, do, uh, like you. they bite? No. But they do like a human. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, don't stick on it. But don't stick on my uh, the rod. Try to stick on it. Well, I don't know. 
where oh my gosh scared me i don't know what the hell happened to it but i young because it better not come to my room because i will freaking die do you want me to leave the the leave the light on a young mom love you god bless you super angels my gear on. Is it recording? Yes, it is. Oh, sorry. Oh. Trucks are too loose. Don't blame everything, everything on your mother, child. Todo es mi culpa, todo, todo. Ay, ah, vas a pelear. Did he leave?